वेलकम टू सुब्रमणी लास्ट फ्यू डेज मे बी फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी डेज आई हैव नॉट फेल्ट ग्रेट अर्ज टू इन्वेस्ट मनी वॉट एवर आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड आई हैव एक्चुअली सोल्ड आई बुक सम प्रॉफिट्स इवन सम शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन्स आई बुक एंड आई एम होल्डिंग ऑन टू सम कैश जनरली आई डेंट गेट अ फीलिंग दैट आई शुड बी इन्वेस्टिंग माई मनी this is not to say that i am great at market timing but i also think that market does not go up or down so when people say market goes up market goes down yes the chart makes you look like that but largely it is sector rotation one sector will go out of favor and another sector will come in so today the fair, the uh, most contrarian sector for everybody seems to be bfsi because people think ah now bfsi is turn to go up Uh, I have no clue whether BFSI will go up or whether auto will go up. So I have a position in BFSI. I have a position in auto, but I've also booked some profits in auto. It's not to say that all my BFSI share, BFSI shares I'm holding. Like for example, uh, AMC's I'm only trading. I don't have the guts to invest in any AMC today. Well, I think all AMC's are overpriced compared to say um, uh, AMC's listed abroad. So I do not know when the when I will get them at an attractive price. So if I Buy it at a particular price, and I can get the get make some money. I trade in it. I am not an investor in any uh, AMC. Having said that, I may be investing in some other uh, BFSI. I may be buying a bank. I may be buying an insurance company. I may be selling another insurance company. So all those things are happening. But now the contrarian theme playing out is uh, banks and automobile and maybe pharma. So what is happening is people are saying, look, metals are out, oil, uh, the commodities are out. So sell sugar, sell metal, sell uh, sell uh, all the all the oil, right? Sell it because they are fully priced. So now it is the turn of the uh, user industries to benefit. The manufacturing uh, has benefited. So now these people will benefit. I am not getting into all those games. I I may personally play those games on a small part of my portfolio, but it does not mean I'm selling off my Colgate and HUL and uh, uh, all my EID Perry and all my Coromandel International. That's not happening. I'm I've sold off some commodities, but I'm holding on to some commodities. Understand one thing: that markets can go up, markets can go down in the sense that the index can have, can change values across the world uh, because of various government reasons, change in economic policy, change in the uh, a pandemic, right? Any of these things. Change in interest rates in U.S. Change in inter uh, the Japanese government refusing to reduce interest rate, which means there'll be more arbitrage opportunities of people borrowing in Japan and investing in the U.S. Right? Everybody wants to make some arbitrage money. So all these things are out to play. So you don't know where the where oil is going to settle, where dollar is going to settle. But that's perfectly all right. We've always had these kind of uh, times while investing. Right? All any point in time afterwards, you forget how turbulent that. Period it was like 1993. We got minus 46 percent return on our uh, investments. Right, the market fell 43 percent. So these kind of things will happen. So I am not calling out and saying, oh, the fall will be brutal, but but it will fall from June to uh, October, and in October it will turn. I have no clue. I do not know whether we have entered a bear market or we are at the end of a bear market, or is the bear market going to be over in four months? Or whether it is going to be over in two years, I have no answers to any of these things. There are many other YouTube people who know exactly that you should not do an SIP, you should do timing, long-term compounding doesn't work. There are people who know all that. I am not in that category. For me, what has worked is what I can share. For me, what has worked is long-term investing in equity has worked. Where I have not bothered on a day-to-day -day basis where the markets have gone. So to me, uh, I know how I will handle myself. So what should you do? You should first check out your risk tolerance. Do you have the ability to tolerate a 20%, 30% fall in the market? Because such fall happens once in 10 years and pretty regularly. Uh, I mean, I can almost consistently say, I can say that consistently the market will fall for 30%, fall 30% one day or. For one week in a in a year, every uh, in a decade for sure. Every year there will be 10 to 12 percent, 15 percent kind of falls pretty regularly, and it will also go up. 
the media tries to tell you that 19.9 is not a bear market but 20.1 is a bear market just control all delete is what is needed this is absolutely stupid and everybody makes this uh, thing right 19% uh, fall and washington post or uh, new york times will carry saying just missed uh, getting into a bear market by a whisker that is not true then one day viciously it can go down to 23% it can be a 4% fall in one day all these things have happened in the market and we have seen this happening so first of all find out your risk tolerance what is the risk tolerance that you are willing to go through my risk tolerance could be very different from your risk tolerance so find your risk tolerance find out whether your portfolio is uh, risk uh, appropriate right your risk your portfolio should match your risk second if you are a person who is very uh, keen to avoid big fluctuations learn to do two things well learn to diversify your portfolio so maybe you should be 60 percent in equity 30 uh, percent in uh, debt assets and 10 percent in gold maybe this is what suits you and what suits me maybe 90 percent equity and 10 percent in debt maybe no gold but that's what suits me right so some combination see what combination suits you so uh, find out your risk tolerance diversify these two things are very important because once you diversify you have your net worth number just keep looking at that number don't look at individuals say oh i bought this share for 100 rupees it is now 92 it is now 88 it is now 85 don't do that you look at your total net worth figure let's say before the pandemic started your net worth figure was 2 crore 8 lakhs something and then on the day of say 20th of march or whenever the market fell your net worth came down to 1.68 or 1.5 or something like that right a dramatic fall in your because you had a large small cap mid cap and you had some debt instrument which also fell on that day so you you saw a big fall just concentrate on that because when you look at your total portfolio you feel oh i shouldn't have bought this i should have asked so and so i should have listened to so and so you get into all that don't do that right so first when you get this kind of market fluctuation which happens uh, you will get scared there is no doubt about that it, you have to be extremely extremely unemotional to say I did not get scared you will get scared but whether to panic is your choice if you plan better then there is no need to panic if you knew for example that uh, the market when the market falls you will have a 30 percent correction or a 20 percent correction in your portfolio and since that is a uh, 70 percent or 60 percent of your portfolio a 30 percent correction there could mean an 18 percent uh, fall in your total portfolio so if you had one crore you will see 82 lakhs in your portfolio and that's fairly obvious because the market has fallen 30 percent so being prepared being prepared with data saying okay if the market falls 10 percent what happens or if the if my portfolio equity portfolio falls 10 percent what happens what happens if equity portfolio falls by 10 percent at the same time debt portfolio falls by two percent right so uh, do some of these scenarios uh, adjust your portfolio uh, appropriate to your risk diversify and seriously think long term don't worry on a day to day basis don't worry what will happen to my portfolio next monday worry about how will my portfolio look in 2040 right 18 years from now or 20 years from now how will it look that is the question that you have to be answering so if you're happy with that answer then you don't need to do to, uh, anything but if you are not ready with that answer it's because you're unprepared so sit and prepare end of it you will have a good answer to what you should do when there is a pandemic uh, or whatever uh, interest rate fall or interest rate hike or whatever any of these things because many of these things will keep happening none of us have an ability to control any of these events which happen we can only control our portfolio our attitude towards it and our diversification so you should control these things don't worry about anything else thank you way to go